there's a very interesting influence of fasting on the autonomic nervous system. What is the autonomic nervous system? It's part of the nervous system that works on automatic, and it does many things, but there's three divisions. You have the sympathetic, which is flight or fight. You have the parasympathetic, which is the rest and digest. And you also have something called the enteric, which is part of the digestive system. Now, I had a testing device when I was in practice that measured the autonomic nervous system. It was a technology called heart rate variability. And you may be able to get your own unit that's fairly affordable, I'll put a link down below for various options for that. But it's a very good way to measure how much sympathetic nervous system you have and how much parasympathetic nervous system you have. And you can do your own research to see how fasting can influence this part of the nervous system. But there's some interesting studies, I'll put some links down below, that show a significant improvement in your parasympathetic nervous system as well as significant suppression of your sympathetic nervous system. So in other words, it activates the parasympathetic, the ability to rest and help you digest food, as well as recover, at the same time lowering your stress response, your flight or fight mechanism. Now, if we look at the opposite situation, a diabetic, right? Because with fasting, you're running your body on ketones, but if you're diabetic, you're basically running on sugar, right? there is a condition called diabetic autonomic neuropathy that occurs with diabetics. And there's not a lot of um, information on this topic, but here's the thing. Um, it's well known that diabetes causes peripheral neuropathy, right? Like your fingertips going numb or your toes becoming numb. But diabetes can also destroy the nerves of the autonomic nervous system. And this can greatly influence your heart and your digestion and other organs. Here's a short list of what can happen. It can increase your blood pressure. It can increase your pulse rate. It can cause erectile dysfunction. It can cause orthostatic hypotension. What does that mean? It means that your blood pressure goes down when you stand up too fast. Okay, that's kind of like a mild version of another condition called POTS, which I've done videos on. And one of the remedies would be fasting and taking vitamin B1, by the way. Constipation is another symptom. Gastroparesis, where your digestive system is very, very slow and sluggish. Hypoglycemia, and then thermal regulation problems. And that would have everything to do with your temperature, whether you're sweating when you shouldn't be sweating or not sweating when you should be sweating. So if you have any of these conditions, you should start doing fasting because fasting can improve your overall autonomic nervous system. A couple of things I would recommend take benfotamine and alpha-lipoic acid, which will actually speed up the process. But typically, the average person who I saw in my clinic was very, very stuck in too much sympathetic nervous system, flood or fight, and they just didn't have enough parasympathetic recovery or the ability to rest, get rid of their stress, and actually sleep. So this is just another video to encourage you to keep fasting. And if you're new to my channel, and want to start fasting, I put a link down below. Check it out. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.